Hi everyone, welcome to Med Sketch. The toxin of the day is Datura. For ease, we have named the scene as Apple Garden because Datura is also known as Thorn Apple, Mad Apple, or Jimson Weed. So you can see the picture of the plant in the left bottom, just beside the danger sign. So it has flowers and seeds. So you can just have a look. So we'll talk about the category of Datura. You can see a brain like flower just beside the danger sign and it has flowers. So it belongs to category of cerebral poison. Among cerebral poisons, it is a deliriant and it causes delirium. So let's talk about the fatal dose in fatal period of Datura. So you can see a clock in the right most bottom of the scene and both the needles are pointing at 1 and 2 p.m. So the fatal period of Datura is 1 to 2 hours. Let's talk about the fatal dose of Datura. On the left, you can see Apple Garden board and it says 60 into 100 yards representing the area of the Apple Garden. So 60 mg is the fatal dose when it comes to grams and 100 seeds is the fatal dose when we are talking about seeds so remember from 60 into 100 yards 60 mg or 100 seeds is the fatal dose of the Torah. let's talk about the mechanism of action let's swipe a bit you can see apple tree in the background and in front of the apple tree you can see an anti call sign so basically the mechanism of action is anticholinergic effect of the Torah. So basically we have three main components or active ingredients in the Torah. Number one is atropine, second one is hyocyamine, L-hyocyamine and L-scopolamine. All of these cause anticholinergic syndrome that result from the inhibition of the central and peripheral muscarinic neurotransmission. We will be talking about the signs and symptoms in the next section so just remember from the anti-call sign that the mechanism of action is based on anticholinergic activity so let's talk about the sign and symptoms so just in front of the tree you can see a man that is having a hat and a bunny some bones and there is a bat you can see behind the apples on the tree so you must have read your chapter of anticholinergics in pharmacology and there was a famous mnemonic of anticholinergics that was like dry as a bone, red as a beet, hot as a hair, blind as a bat and mad as a hatter. So we have described there is a man with a hat so you can remember mad as a hatter, there is a bunny hot as a hair, bones dry as a bone and there is bat. So you can just remember blind as a bat. So these were the sign and symptoms for ease we have uh, illustrated in the picture. Also, there are two boys that are standing in the middle of the scene. On the shirt of one boy, you can see the letter 9 and on the second one, you can see the letter D. So there is another way of remembering signs and symptoms that is the 9D mnemonic. So the 9D mnemonic, you can easily remember from the diagram so the boy with the letter d you can see he is holding his neck and his uh, tongue is protruding and vessels are visible on his arm so the 9d system i'm going to revise it in a bit so 9d system says dryness of mouth difficulty in swallowing difficulty in talking dilatation of vessels and dilatation of pupil delirium drunken gait and drowsiness so in our boy with the letter d you can see he is holding his uh, neck so it is representing difficulty in swallowing difficulty in talking and you can also see on the arm there is a vessel representing the dilatation of vessels and his pupils are bit dilated so you can remember from this other symptoms are represented in the other boy with the letter 9, you can see he's holding a bottle of alcohol and he is having an abnormal gait also, he is a bit dizzy and is in the state of delirium. So you can remember the 9D symptoms also. That was dryness of mouth, difficulty in swallowing, difficulty in talking, dilatation of vessels, dilatation of pupil, delirium, drunken gait and drowsiness. You can remember from the uh, old mnemonic and you can remember from this mnemonic as well. So let's talk about uh, the post-mortem appearance of the Torah. So on the right most bottom you can see stomach shaped bag 
that was also in our paracetamol poisoning video so the post mortem appearance is very similar to the paracetamol poisoning we can see the tura seed in the uh, stomach of the deceased individuals so let's talk about the medical legal importance of the tura poisoning so on the right extreme of the scene under the apple tree you can see a robber that was also present in our cannabis indica video so datura is also known as a stupefying poison and is used in robbery kidnapping and rape so just to remember we have placed the same figure also the flower and fruits of datura are accidentally eaten by people so that's why we have placed a danger sign beside the diagram of the flowers so let's talk about the treatment of the tura poisoning so you can see in front our classic gastric lavage bottle but the difference here is that you can also see kmno4 is written on the bottle so gastric lavage with potassium permanganate is indicated in the tura poisoning also you can see there is a physics book on the left side of the bottle so it is indicating the antidote of the tura poisoning that is physostigmine so physostigmine so remember for ease we have placed a physics book physostigmine physics so it kind of sounds similar thirdly you can see a barbie fairy that is present on the left side at the background barbiturates are also indicated in datura poisoning so it is represented by the barbie fairy lastly you can see our first aid box on the right side of our classic gastric lavage bottle so it indicates supportive and symptomatic treatment so in order to summarize the treatments you can see our classic gastric lavage bottle physostigmine and barbiturates are given as antidote and supporting and symptomatic treatment can be given so here was our datura poisoning video if you have any questions just drop in the comment section till then take care for detailed literature of toxins refer our textbook excel forensic medicine and toxicology available at all major medical bookstore all over pakistan